Well, at the age of about 12, I wanted to go fishing. Father did it, great-grandfather did it, great-great-grandfather did it. 12 or 13 generations back, all traced. Being out to sea, I get to see what my ancestors have seen, witness what made them who they are, and sometimes I don't, you'd rather be out there. Oh, I just love catching. The challenge of the hunt to try to find something when it's not easy. If it was easy, everyone would be a fisherman. But when it's tough, that's when the fishing side comes out. And that's the bit that I love. You'd be surprised probably how much seafood really comes through here. Well, I mean, that's where Harvey Bay started. You know, it was, you know, four little or three little fishing villages all, you know, steadily grew up into a town and then a city. We employ, um, between us and down the slipway there, I think all up it's probably about 80 people. Sort of pretty tight-knit sort of bunch, you know. We, we've got a lot of skippers, crew that have been with us for a lot of years. I suppose the old saying, you've got to spend money to make money almost, you know, you've got to be prepared. Well, I had the spare end have the spare equipment, you know, have everything sort of set up so everything runs like clockwork, I suppose. With my father, you know, he um, generally runs things pretty tightly where, you know, boat comes in, we just get everything fixed, everything's planned, ready to go, and you know, off it goes. I started going fishing with Dad and uh, he bought a trawler when I was about 15, and then that was it. I wanted to always be a fisherman. But then I discovered trawling. I had always known that that's what Neil did. He was always away. You know, it was, that's who you are. To make plans and to book something, oh. you've just got to draw a line and go, we're going to make this happen, because otherwise the boat seems to take over life all the time. Well, last year you left in May, you were late. I don't think you were home till December. And we worked out until you got home, you were off the boat for 13 days in that period. The worst bit is you come home and you're already thinking about when you've got to go again. And that's a, a juggle to not bring that up the first few days. When we, whenever I get home, we always make sure we get see both sides of the family. And... Yeah, Neil's a fabulous cook. We... <laughs> so we've got an amazing outdoor kitchen set up and you love cooking on there for family and friends and things like that. They make a real conscious effort when we're home. Because you're not home all year, when you are, you just make sure you get everyone around and have that bit of family time that you just don't have. Without them, I wouldn't go home. So that's, that's the honest truth. If I didn't have Jody and my family at home, what's the point of just that sea? So these guys live on the ocean. They live and breathe the ocean. They are, they are there all the time. There is a wealth of information with our fishermen and, and there's so much involved in that exercise. What we've done with our little business here is a great thing for the town. It's, we showcase our local seafood. This is our fresh fish market at Grunsky's. This is it's early Monday morning, so we're still getting our display together. These are cooked river prawns, as you can see by the sign. So these are supplied almost on a daily basis by the beam trawlers that work the Burnett River and the, the Clan River. You know, we value our fishermen enormously. Without them, we, we don't have anything. like to get the product straight off the trawler, straight to the public. People can watch us coming in. We've got a Facebook page and a database. We let people know exactly what day we come in. Most of our customers know my name. It's like a little family thing we got going on, I reckon. I really enjoy it when my customers come down on the trawler and say to me, Dave, your prawns are the nicest prawns I've ever tasted. Thank you very much. We're a little operator and we come in here and we give our fresh seafood to our customers. I'm proud of the prawn I produce, and I want to be able to sell them forever. I want it to be the best it can be, and that's everything. Our reputation in Australia, as far as the quality of our product goes, is you know, caught in the pristine waters of the Coral Sea. If, if local fishermen, without them, uh, you know, we don't have a business. 
It's all, it's all about being exactly who we are and trying to bring the best possible seafood we can to our, our dining customers. If it's in your blood, it's in your blood. If it's not, it's not. I always had to come back to the ocean. Like my forefathers did, my great grandfathers did. I think it's just a thing that has helped the family thrive for hundreds of years. We just bond over it. And we're father, son, fishing. I still got a couple of years left in me, so I mean, while I'm enjoying it, still physically capable and healthy enough to do it, I'll keep on doing it and keep on supplying fresh prawns to my customers here at Century Cove.